everybody and welcome on my YouTube channel. You are with uh, Alan Rist for today. One uh, review on the test server of the VIP hero for uh, June. This time it's a uh, sure, it's a uh, frontliner, it's a uh, strength hero, it's Dragon Rider. Feel the bite of my blade! First thing that I can tell I like uh, is uh, looking. It's a sort of Uh, black knight but not in black with a great uh, sword a cool helm you see his uh, transformation right now in dragon you can see his attack it's the end of the match and uh, we have uh, nothing else so about his uh, statistics now frontline dps tank who can turn into a dragon form and deal splash damage i know how to train a dragon it's a citation so Attack damage uh, 6,300, maximum HP 70,000, armor 1,115, magical uh, resistance 860, and critical score 1,300. If we add the training field, HP, armor, and uh, magical resistance, we will have one hero with 92,000 HP, 1,430 armor, and 980 magical resistance, nearly 1,000. It will be the second best tank in the game about his statistic. is just behind uh, Dwarf Warrior, and especially with the legendary skill of Dwarf Warrior, he will be a little behind, but we still didn't check his skills. So we will check right now his skills. Ultimate skill of uh, Dragon Rider is uh, Dragon Form. Davian transform into a powerful dragon with the ability of ranged attack, dealing splash and continuous uh, damage, while in Dragon Form the effect range of his skills become wider. The Dragon Form lasts 23.4 seconds in max level, so it's uh, pretty good. Increases the normal attack's continuous damage by 2625, so it means in a dragon form, uh, it will be in the second part of every fight in dragon form, and it will be during a nearly whole fight in dragon form, because I think that he will be able to recharge his energy during his uh, dragon form. So, we will test it, and we'll see exactly how it works. First uh, active skill, the green one, Breath Fire. Davian Breath fires at enemy and its uh, head, dealing area damage. The area range extend in dragon form, increase 5,250 damage and its fire damage. Blue skill, Shield Bash. Davian bashes a melee range enemy target, stuns and deal minor damage. The attack range extend in dragon form. Damage increased by 2625 and it will stun in according of the level. And finally, the purple skill, Dragon Blood. Davian's Dragon Blood increases HP recovery and magic resistance. So, increase 262.5 magical resistance and increase HP recovery by 1050 per second. I don't know if it's always active or if, if it will cast something but if it's a passive skill it will be just amazing so for player of uh, dota 2 i think you already <laughs> recognize a dragon knight it's exactly the same skills and if it's like dragon knight dragon blood will be a passive skill so i'm really interesting because i think this hero will be crazy hard to kill so we will see first of all his position on the battlefield even if i think that it will be really in front we will see now his uh, position uh, in according of the Others a uh, frontliner in the game. I hope he will be really uh, in front. So, for the moment, it's okay. Oh, Boxer is in front of him. Cross Knight, why not? It's not a problem. Boxer, it's uh, another problem. But we are not using this hero anyway. After, perfect. Oz is behind also, so it's uh, really good. Devastator is behind, even if we are not using Devastator, Devastator is a real frontliner. Uh, oh, uh, 
The Dwarf uh, Warrior is behind. Okay, but he will charge, so he will be in front, in fact. And Turtle Fighter in front. It's not a real problem. I don't think that we will play with them together. <laughs> oh! Okay. Iron Oof, why not? Dev Gore is in front. Death Knight behind, so this is interesting. All these arrows uh, are crappy, so it's not a uh, real problem. Okay, and finally... <laughs> finally... Oh, Admiral is in front. Okay, so... It's a frontliner, we didn't see something uh, who uh, seems to be a problem actually with his uh, position, so we will try his skill in 1 versus 1. For this one uh, versus 2, <laughs> I'm not afraid about uh, let him alone, because he will never die, I'm sure. You can see that his fourth skill is passive, look his life is regenerating his life all the time without any cast so it's a really good news and it means he has even more uh, magical resistance than what it uh, was during the description so it will be really impressive and like i'm thinking after 30 seconds he will be able to transform himself in a dragon form it will be now and after i think he will be in dragon form during wall fight because his form stay for uh, 24 seconds, and during this time, he will receive enough energy to cast again his uh, dragon form. So, his damage for the moment seems not uh, crazy, and I don't think that it's a damage dealer so far, but we will see. You see, he is already uh, full of energy. So, <laughs> he will transform uh, directly, and it will be even more efficient during a real fight, because he will receive uh, more damage in his face. really crazy uh, how much he, he absorbs the damage and his life regeneration is just crazy he is full life okay admiral and chaplain uh, are not damage dealer i'm agree with you but it looks uh, impressive tank and statistic of the fight 168 damage he, uh, when you have only two enemies in front of him for sure he will be uh, directional because only skill who is really efficient as a damage dealer is the second skill, the breath. So if he is turning, he will lose a lot of damage. But he is not here for that. And we will do one damage test to see when you have all enemies in front of him, even if it's not uh, really interesting. I want to try something a little funny for this uh, damage test. <laughs> I put only uh, two arrows in front of uh, five, even if it's uh, full uh, defensive uh, arrows, it's uh, sure. And I want to show you something with that. How much damage he receives during this fight, we can add all uh, damages for enemy team, and how he will finish the fight. Actually, you can see that uh, he is uh, still nearly full life. I put Cleric to help him a little bit. And I'm sure when you have all enemies in front of him is able to deal some additional damages. It will be not 600,000 for sure, but I'm sure that he can do something. The range of his stun is also better when he is in dragon form. So it means after 30 seconds, you will be able to stun front line and mid lane. It's transforming uh, again. Yes, yeah, the breath is, uh, is not bad at all. So, the fight is nearly finished. And you see, it's uh, knock back them a little bit. So, they are pushed, 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 pushed. <laughs> and finally, five uh, seconds stay. We will see the statistics. He's full life. Huh? 343,000 damage. And what is really interesting, you can see that uh, Cleric nearly didn't receive uh, any damages. And for uh, Dragon Knight, Dragon Rider, sorry, 31, 51, we have uh, something like uh, 118, 150 more or less. 150 uh, damage, and he finished the fight uh, full life. 
it's not a burst. Okay, I'm agree with you. This team, uh, uh, it's just for uh, damage test. But it's interesting to know how much he can uh, recover his HP during one match. We will try now in real situation. For this first match, uh, I have in front of me Turtle Fighter, Rabbit, Steel Champion, Magic Breaker, and Wind Priest. It's a really strong uh, team for Arena and even for uh, Grand Arena. Actually, Magic Breaker is not crazy used because most of players didn't push her uh, five stars, but she will be for sure in the meta game uh, next month. So in some days, don't worry. So. As counter for that, I'm using Turtle Fighter like usual to counter the early burst of uh, Wind Priest and he will help me even in the second part of the fight. I'm using uh, Dragon Rider even if I think that against Turtle Fighter he will not be so interesting. Why? Because his second skill, the best one to deal damage is uh, directional so he will be fucked by this and it will be like a wall, he will receive some damage, survive, but he will not do nothing interesting. So I'm using him for the test, but it's not my uh, first choice if I have really to choose something. After Steel Champion, Steel Champion, great survivability, really strong against Wind Priest in the second part of the fight. He will also be able to kill probably uh, Magic Breaker if she's still alive. Death Mage to counter the first grab of uh, Evil Rabbit and Wind Priest to deal uh, mainly the uh, damage against this team. So let's go to see the result. You see rotation, I didn't receive any damage on Turtle Fighter, it's really important and this you have to keep it in your mind because it's something who will happen a lot. The grab was countered. Now we will lose Death Mage. For sure, she's in the ultimate of the Wind Priest. And a Dragon Rider died. You see, still champion. He jumped in the other side on the battlefield. He killed a Magic Breaker and Wind Priest. And finally, we finished 2 versus 1. In this fight, we can check the statistic. Dragon Rider, 60,000 uh, damage. It's not a damage dealer like I told, and in this situation, who is really not for him, for sure he will not deal any damage and is not crazy efficient. I'm sure with the next situation that we will see, he will be crazy more useful. So let's go. For this second match, I have in front of me another uh, team who is in the metagame with Cross Knight, Steel Champion, Avenger, Bloody Earl, and a Puppet Master. Against this team, I have a lot of heroes who are moving on the battlefield. Bloody Earl, Steel Champion, Avenger. So, it's difficult normally uh, to use a Dragon Rider properly. That's why I add a Frost Dragon to help him. I'm explaining. Don't forget that the ultimate of a Frost Dragon will make move all enemy teams in one place, focusing one of them. So it's really useful. And in this situation, I have Dragon Rider to receive uh, damages. He will survive. I'm nearly sure about that. He survived every time. You have Steel Champion to move in the battlefield to deal crazy damage and with a good uh, capacity to survive. Bloody Earl in my team also to do the same with a good uh, sustain and who can recover his life alone. You have uh, Frost Dragon for heal, for damage and for his ultimate. And you have a uh, Tarot Prophet to finish one enemy who will be a uh, low life and also to recover his HP himself because he has a good uh, capacity to survive. So let's check uh, what it will be. In the beginning of the fight, you can see that my Dragon Rider is receiving a lot of damage. He will be healed. So now he has his uh, physical immunity. During this time, I'm dealing some damages. And the ultimate. Ultimate of Dragon. Perfect. They, they killed all uh, Bloody Earl of enemies. And now, my uh, Dragon Rider will begin to recover his life. You see, he's nearly full life. 
Frost Dragon is also recovering his HP. And I will probably finish now when I see this with a 5 hero alive. Yes. So, it was perfect. And when I check the statistic of the fight, you can see that finally all my heroes did around 150 and uh, 200 uh, damages. It's perfect. And it was the synergy who won against this team and not just uh, I'm uh, fighting like a uh, horse. No. So, don't forget, I think the combination with Dragon Frost and Dragon Rider are uh, really good together because you need to have uh, more efficiency with Dragon Rider to have all enemies in one place. You will stun more, you will damage more, you will do a lot of things. If they are spreading everywhere on the battlefield, you will lose a lot of efficiency. Let's try a last situation now. For this last uh, situation, I'm against a burst team with a dev voice, avenger, sorceress, thunder beast and a commando. So what is my strategy? My strategy is uh, to play with a dragon rider to see if he will be able to, uh, to stay alive after the burst. I'm using uh, Arcane Sapper. I know that Arcane Sapper will die. I hope that he will be able to eat at least uh, one time, but I know that he will die. He's here to control the first bump of Sorceress. So we will see if he will do the job. After that, I have Avenger. Avenger will deal interesting amount of damage, especially in the beginning of the match. And after he will mess a little bit with his ultimate. Frost uh, Dragon is here to heal little bit and eventually to kill someone uh, before that he burst and uh, for the uh, global uh, damage I have uh, Wind Priest. So let's check the result. Arcane Sapper still alive. Boom! Arcane Sapper is alive. He's alive. He's dead. He didn't do nothing. Okay. Oh, I received the ultimate of Sorceress. I'm still alive. This Dragon Rider is crazy. Ultimate. So, the against a uh, magical team, the ice of uh, Frost Dragon is not so efficient because I will recover HP, but I'm not protect for a uh, magical damage. But it will be enough, and I can kill uh, this team without problem. I'm really surprised. You see, without any assist, without shield, without nothing, excepted the sacrifice of uh, Arcane Sapper, my uh, Dragon Rider was able uh, to survive. For sure, he uh, didn't do so much damage, but uh, one tank who is alive against a team who is trying to burst you, usually you can uh, win that, and it's exactly uh, what happened. So, it's all uh, for the match today. It's now time to speak about strengths and weaknesses. Two important uh, points for uh, Dragon Rider. The uh, first one, I think you already uh, guess it. It's his uh, capacity to survive. It's probably one of the best tank actually in the game. As tank, I mean. Uh, you have a Dwarf Warrior who is a little better, but Dwarf Warrior is legendary. And don't forget, his uh, fourth skill of Dragon Rider increase his magical resistance, increase his HP by 1050 per second. So it means during one fight, uh, 90 seconds, you will have nearly 100,000 HP uh, more. So he has uh, nearly uh, two life and he has the best defensive statistics, especially in uh, magical uh, resistance. You have uh, 1,000, uh, 1,430 of armor and 940 of magical resistance. And you can add for this the uh, passive skill of uh, 260. So he has uh, nearly 1,200 of uh, magical resistance also. It's, it's uh, really impressive. So this hero in front line, he will be able to survive if you are playing properly. Now, second good point, after 30 seconds of fight, more or less, he will transform himself in a dragon and he will stay as a dragon during wall fight. You already saw why. He has enough time to recover his energy for his next uh, transformation. So, it's a good point because in this form, he will be able to have a crazy control of the battlefield. His uh, shield bash will touch 
two lanes of enemy in front of him and his breast fire will touch also two lanes in front of him. So, two uh, good strength, only two, but two really good uh, strength. And now speak about his weaknesses. As a weaknesses for a dragon rider, we have only one point, but it's a really important point. This hero is directional. I'm explaining. You need to make him shine to have all arrows in front of him for his stun, for his damage. If it's not like that, you lose a lot of efficiency. And actually, unfortunately in the metagame, you have Turtle Fighter, Steel Champion, Avenger, Bloody Earl, Arcane Sapper, who will not stay in one place and who will move everywhere. And because of that, you will lose a lot of a power for this hero. He will touch only one people with his stun, even in dragon form I'm speaking. Yeah. He will touch only one people with his breath. And finally, at the end of the fight, instead of uh, doing 150, 200 uh, thousand damage, he will deal 50 thousand damage. And what it will be? It will be one wall in front of your team who will receive damage with a crazy good capacity to uh, receive damage, but will do absolutely uh, nothing else and that's why it's an important uh, weakness it's all for strength and weaknesses i will now give you my final opinion about dragon rider dragon rider will be a suitable in grand arena grand tournament war of the god and uh, championship it's not a game changer uh, properly for sure but it's a really really a strong uh, tank we don't have actually so much a uh, strong tank in the game so he will be able to fit nearly everywhere and he will be able to survive nearly everywhere we can uh, regret that in the actual metagame with a lot of heroes uh, who have a crazy movement he will not shine so much that what he could do but it in fact i think you can find some uh, better solution than me i uh, proposed one with uh, frost dragon but i'm sure that you can have something uh, like that with manipulator for example manipulator who has a crazy taunt and who will taunt most of the time on a dragon rider so it's one solution i let you uh, do your uh, cook in your side but i'm sure you can find something uh, great it's all uh, for today it's now time to conclude thank you everybody for watching this uh, video don't hesitate to subscribe like and share to uh, support my work if you enjoy it see you soon for another video bye bye